What's up guys, Knife Fanatic here. Today we got another unboxing from Savivi. This is the Vision FG. We got dark green canvas micarta handles with a black nitro V blade. Let's go ahead and open her up. We got our cleaning cloth, some stickers. Let's put all this over here. And our knife. A little oily. Let's wipe her down a little bit. Yeah, really cool. We have some holes in the scales. Nice reversible deep carry pocket clip. It's bent over. Flat screws. Inset clip. Or at least it's just flat with the scales there. So it doesn't snag on anything. Nice retention. We got thumb studs and the uh, the super lock there, I believe is what they call it. It's the VV logo right there on the pivot, which is captive as well. Looks like T8 for the pivot screw. Yep, T8. And then you just have the T6 um, pocket clip screws down here. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, fire her open. Oh yeah, guys, look at that blade. We got a nice um, black coating on that, I'd say modified sheep's foot there. Blade designed by Sneck, Sneck X. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but. No blade play side to side or up and down. Very solid. Oh yeah. Wow. This is super fidgety. Really nice detent. You can reverse flick it, thumb flick it. Let's check centering. Centering looks good here. Ergos, yeah, it feels good. Um, I do feel this pocket clip because it's on, you know, the outside right there. So when I close my hand like this, I definitely feel it right here. You can even choke up there in that forward choil area. It feels really good. Full four finger grip there. Nice sharpening choil and plunge grind. Plunge grind looks like it ends right about there. Yeah, this is a really cool knife. I like this design. It's <clears throat> it's pretty similar to uh, the Demco 8020.5 there um, with their shark lock here on the back. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. It might be, it might not be, I'm not sure, but it has like the same or similar type style of lock. But, um, yeah, really cool and interesting design. I like it. No lanyard hole or anything. Doesn't look like you can put a lanyard anywhere. We got obviously the milled out holes for weight reduction, I think, but let's go ahead and check the weight on this guy. Four 
4.2 ounces. So it's not super light. Um, let's check the length of it. So overall length, just about eight inches, it looks like. Got that cutting edge of uh, about three and a quarter. But yeah, I think uh, if you like fidgety knives, then you'll definitely like this really cool design. Awesome blade shape. I absolutely love this blade shape. It's so, so nice. Um, very good for utility cuts, for pinch grips, draw cuts, you know. You know, you can even do like some fine detail work. But yeah, super cool. And this is in I believe 14, no, Nitro V, my apologies. This is a Nitro V blade. Feels pretty toothy, very sharp. Um, not a very thick blade either, but pretty, uh, you know, normal size blade thickness it looks like. Nothing too crazy thick or thin. And we have some jimping here along the um, the locking mechanism here. So you just pull this down, which disengages the blade. Nice jimping there, as well as right there on the top. But yeah, super cool knife. Very fidgety. Yeah, I definitely like this knife a lot. Feels great. Looks great. I believe they have some other scale options as well if you're <clears throat> into, I think it's uh, G10 and maybe some other, <clears throat> excuse me, different colored micartas. Thumb studs are well done. Yeah, Civivi did a really good job on this one. I like this a lot. This is basically the budget version of, uh, there's a more premium version of this knife. I forgot what it's called off the top of my head right now, but um, they made this uh, the more budget friendly version of that, which I love because I really liked the, uh, the premium version of it. I just didn't really Think it was worth spending that much money on that knife so i'm glad that they came out with a budget version of it because i think it's a really cool design i like the blade shape feels great has nice acoustics too the uh the sound when it closes kind of resonates through these holes. Sounds cool. Well guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Knife Fanatic out.